All right, I know it's been a while since I did a video on Vincent Langlois, or Vincent Langlois. Um, it's been a while since I checked his stuff out, um, the occasional TikTok and Instagram. Uh, so I wanted to see what was going on, because I saw, you know, some clips of his, they had a Just For Fans, um, he was selling underwear, and he wasn't doing that many YouTube videos. So I wanted to see what was going on. So stay tuned. All right, so... Let me check out this video. What I did was I, uh, I actually edited everything. I did a search of all the stuff beforehand and I edited it, but it was a long time ago. So it's gonna be like I'm reacting brand new from it. So let me pull this up. Where is it? Okay, so I pulled this up. I'm gonna to react to what I pulled up. This is stuff that I already did a pre-search for. I edited it, now I'm gonna to react to it. Okay, so I'm looking for his uh, Facebook page, uh, his, I'm looking for his YouTube page because he that's basically what I was following initially and I okay we can see that I did a lot of videos on him he got a lot of traction now he has an English YouTube page he, he had English YouTube page then he got rid of it then he went to French now he's going back to English because he's big on Instagram uh, sorry on TikTok so he keeps going back and forth my question is why does he always remove videos it's like he doesn't want to keep a record of what he's done for past sake you know what I mean it's like he's almost ashamed of it or he confabulates his image to how he wants people to see him. Kind of like Madonna did, <laughs> you know, controlling his image, which is fine, but people are gonna find things, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I did, all right, take back your life. I know I did that. I did some, I did French videos. I'm gonna be doing this in French also, but first I'm gonna start with the English. Yeah, oh, my reaction to his reaction of me. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. What else is there? Janata Boivin. Okay, yeah, this was a fan. This is a guy who fanboys over uh, over Vincent, or Vincent, and he wanted me to do reactions of him. I should do a video on Jonathan Boivin. I offered to do online training with him to help him get into shape because he's really portly, right? So I could get to that. What else is there? It actually looks like I'm scrolling through this. I actually scrolled through it without any voiceover. And now I'm voiceovering it. So it's it's a little weird. That's what I'm doing. So, it's, okay. So it's real. French Show has 7.68 thousand subscribers and he has one video about his gynecomastia surgery. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue sur ma chaîne YouTube. Comme vous voyez. <laughs> coloré là, j'ai mis rose, ça fait longtemps que euh, je voulais essayer une couleur dans mes cheveux puis je sais pas, on dirait qu'avant, ça fait plusieurs fois que j'essaie de me bleacher les cheveux puis c'était toujours laid, c'était toujours vraiment laid je sais pas pourquoi là, peut-être parce que j'ai perdu un petit peu de poids à cause de mon opération ou je sais pas, je trouve que là ça me va mieux fait que bref, j'ai mis rose de Malek Panic, j'ai mis le hot hot pink au début je voulais cotton candy mais il l'avait pas si vous voyez mon bout du nez qui est vraiment scrap c'est parce qu'il y a juste moi qui ça arrive des, des conneries de même là je me suis brûlé le bout du nez avec mon truc à vapeur. Okay, J'utilise ça pour j'en soir passer des vêtements. Euh. Yeah, it's it's scrap. His, his, the end of his nose is scrap. I like how he just puts everything in the most negative light, you know? Couldn't just say, I just burnt the edge of my nose. He had to say, my nose is terrible. It's horrible. <sighs> Dans même dans les Ou sinon, mettons mon, mon divan pour comme le nettoyer, tu sais, à vapeur. Bref, je sais pas pourquoi, qu'est-ce qui m'a passé par la tête, je trouve qu'il sentait bizarre, j'ai essayé de le sentir, puis je me suis brûlé le nez. Fait que, euh, on va essayer d'éviter ça aujourd'hui. Je veux vous parler de mon opération, qui est ma gynécomastie, parce que j'en ai parlé beaucoup sur euh, TikTok, puis sur Facebook, mais j'en ai pas parlé sur YouTube, je me dis, ça peut... Let's take a lot of caffeine before he starts doing this. This is like, what time is it? It's like, um, 7.12 a.m. It's still dark outside, so I have a big ring light on me. Well, it's not a ring light, it's a box light. But, uh, yeah. Talks a mile a minute. Aider beaucoup de gens sur YouTube. Désolé, de, désolé pour la longue intro de minute, mais bon, on va y aller tout de suite. Une gynécomastie, si vous savez pas c'est quoi, c'est comme un développement euh, mammaire chez les hommes. Puis ça, ça peut arriver de diverses manières. Ça peut être quand t'es jeune, euh, tu sais, quand on est adolescent, puis dans le fond, notre corps se forme, on peut avoir un changement hormonal, juste comme random de même qui arrive, puis que boum, t'as une gynécomastie. Euh, des fois, ça peut arriver juste d'un côté, que t'as un pectoraux qui est comme vraiment plus développé que l'autre, comme. Euh, c'est pas développé en muscle, développé en... Parce qu'une gynécomastie, c'est un mélange de euh, glandes mammaires puis de gras. C'est comme une accumulation qu'il y a, que dans le fond... Je veux pas dire que c'est pas censé être là, parce que je veux pas commencer à faire comme « Ah ben là, toi t'es normal, toi t'es pas normal. » Mais si on regarde, c'est un chest standard de gars, c'est pas censé être là, une gynécomastie. 
Puis, comme je disais, il y a plusieurs moyens d'avoir ça. Yeah, apparently gynecomastia happens when people do a lot of steroids and then it estrogenizes, it becomes more the female hormones and so then you end up getting little breasts. Um, that's the whole fitness industry online right now. People who are doing, you know, this whole fake natty thing, this whole uh, pretending to be natural and then they're doing testosterone and then they got a little bit of gynecomastia, a little bit, you know, then they have to get the operation to get rid of it because it costs like $5,000 and you can't reverse it. So you have to remove it. Moi, dans le fond, euh, la raison pour laquelle que j'ai eu ça, c'est à cause de mon passé que, euh, à plusieurs reprises, moi, dans ma vie, j'ai considéré le fait que peut-être que j'étais pas un homme, que j'étais pas né dans le bon corps, puis j'ai essayé de comme faire des changements, puis un moment donné dans ma vie, j'ai fait des hormones. J'ai fait des hormones durant six mois, euh, tu sais, avec euh, l'accord des médecins et tout, en 2015. Durant ça, six mois, puis euh, j'avais fait aussi quand j'étais plus jeune, genre j'avais 17-18 ans, j'avais pris les pilules contraceptives de ma meilleure amie, puis ça c'était comme underground, c'était pas comme <rire> legit. Puis euh, ça, ça l'avait un peu déformé mon chat. Yeah, hormonal changes will do that to you. Yeah, I know. So if you see some of the videos I did, he removed all his videos, but you know, there was a Journal de Montréal who did a clip showing him transitioning. Um, and I have and there's things that I did. So just what I'm trying to say is that removed all his videos maybe he doesn't like them maybe he just wants to erase it but there's still videos that i did and the paper so i mean like what's what's the take-home message for this you know accept your path your 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 journey you know you make mistakes they're online so what you know what i mean you don't have to kind of restructure yourself reinvent yourself it's just it's good to kind of see what you've done in the past, your journey. People can learn from that as opposed to just erasing everything. You know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he became governor of California, he erased all the gay for pay stuff he did, all the stuff that would kind of ruin his reputation. That's sad. You're playing up to what other people think of you as opposed to owning up to what you've done and do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's been, um, you can't see in his previous videos because he doesn't have them online anymore, but um, he was talking about that he was trying to move. He didn't like the confinement of his uh, small studio and um, he was talking about how he was bankrupt and he, it took takes seven years to get back to normal and now he's doing well. And, uh, it looks like he's at the same place. I'm noticing that, so. See, back when he was trying to transition, he was trying very hard to, to lose weight. He wasn't eating, you know, plant-based. But he, I remember he was saying that it was just, that's the way his body is. Like, once you have muscle, it's, it's really hard to lose muscle once you build it. But it's really hard to build it. That's the thing, so. There's this one bodybuilder who's, like, enormous and identifying as a woman went through, you know, she's wearing a wig and all that stuff and is walking around as a woman but a super muscular woman. I mean, there's a thing for that. The Miss Olympia now is back, you know, with really muscular women. So trying to obtain an image of a thin woman doesn't need to be done anymore. So a lot of it's, you know, when you're talking about body dysmorphia, it's, it's a tough gig, man. <laughs> you know, it's really tough. Okay, that was it for that.
<sighs> okay, so where am I going to now? You got a little link to his Instagram and his TikTok. But I'm gonna check for some more videos here. See, there he is as a woman. Someone else did that video. And there he is when he was heavier. His TikTok, his first video on an English channel. Let's subscribe to his English channel. My, yeah, there we go, subscribe. 267 subscribers, one video, of course. The thing is, if you have, like, he, I know he's taking his TikTok and he's translating it to more Instagram followers, which is working. It's kind of harder to translate it to uh, YouTube, especially if you're not doing it on YouTube. 267 subscribers, one video, of course. The thing is, if you have, like, he, I know he's taking his TikTok and he's translating it to more Instagram followers, which is working. It's kind of harder to translate it to uh, YouTube, especially if you're not doing it on YouTube. Welcome to my English YouTube account. So I just created this account because on my other one, I, I have already, you know, uh, a YouTube channel, but it's mainly in French. And all the people there are from Quebec or from France. And it would make sense to put out English content there. Um, and you know, for the algorithm, it's also not recommended to just mix languages. And also, there's so many topics that I want to talk uh, that I cannot speak on TikTok because it's like too short. You know, there's subjects that are a little bit like more serious that you cannot fully express yourself in a 15 second video. So, on this, um, this is just my introduction, you guys, and sorry also, bear with me for my English. Um, I'm, I'm far from being fully bilingual. Um, I was born in Quebec. I speak French, mainly I speak French in my everyday life. I think in French and um, I try to perfect my English. I'm even considering taking private English classes very soon, so... Well, see, this is the same argument he had a couple of years ago when he had his English channel on YouTube and then he removed it to try to uh, go more for the French YouTube channel. Why didn't you just keep it on? He was doing like these, re he was doing like these sick reaction videos, like two seconds, like he was being lazy when he was uh, doing his videos. He didn't want to do any editing and stuff. He just wanted the fame, right? So just keep it on if people bug you about your English, you know, just the fact that not practicing makes it so that your English stays the same. You, you speak well, you know, I mean, it's we all want to be perfect and we we don't like criticism it's like the time in a year and a half your english would have been much better if you would have been doing more english videos just do them you don't have to do them all the time you know it's just like <sighs> private english let you're on youtube and everything is english that you look at it's like you can do it you know that's all you need to do anyway so if you want to subscribe to my channel um you are free to do so and there will be more videos coming up so Stay tuned and I love you all. Oh, that was it? Okay, so let's see, where am I going now? To his Instagram. Now this edited video, okay, he has 110 followers, 110k followers, he probably has more now. I did this a few weeks ago, the editing for this uh, montage that I'm shooting. Um, let's go through his stuff. 27 posts, of course. Man, he keeps removing stuff. It's like, I took all the sound off, so let's just see. Oh, okay, guess what my age is. I know what your age is, it's 30, because you keep talking about it you were talking about all your youtube videos it's like okay you're 30 what is it you're dead now what come on what's on the little you know the little butch dance uh-huh okay that was it okay there is kind of regular Okay, you have his abs, the right lighting, his side pose to not make his waist look thick. Oh, to see, he's done quite well with his clothing. Okay, this is Bailanglois, he did underwear. And they look nice, actually. Yeah, they look nice. The gold waistband, the blue waistband, the fuchsia waistband. It's like they, it looks like it was his hair color. If he had his hair color from the previous video with the, that waistband, it would match. Matchy matchy. Okay, so here's a fanboy. So, he, you know, gives him a shout out. Le petit garçon, the little boy. That's kind of cool. Brendan Lee Graham. Mm. All right, cool. That's it. Nice. There's another fanboy, Xmo. So these are people who bought his underwear and he removed his Instagram. That's pretty lame.